Hello, in this video, I am going to talk about station equations in civil 3D. Currently, in my screen, I have an alignment here, this blue color line. So, from this alignment, this is A005 road. For this alignment, I have an offset alignment of 3.5 meter, which represents the lane edge. So, let us say at some point after we have designed our alignment and profile at some point we found out that we have some obstruction here at the lane edge let us say that is an archaeological site we cannot disturb that one so we have to move our alignment away from this location so to do that i will reduce my radius here so it will shift my uh, curve towards left side so that the radius of the curve will be reduced so in that case you might know that my length of the alignment will be changing my stationing will be changing as a result of that my profile will also be changed so before changing the alignment what i have done is i have created two locations where there is no change will happen on the alignment so that means at the start of this curve point this station is 200 uh, usually we don't get rounded station to per start point but in this case i have maintained that one so this is the start of point of the curve at 200 chain edge we have 163.227 elevation and minus 1.45 gradient you can see it here at 200 elevation this elevation is here and this gradient is here so if you go to the end of curve here you can see the station is 270 so the resulting elevation is 163.294 and the gradient is 1.642 is a plus gradient so these are the existing scenario without changing the alignment so let us say we are going to change this alignment so i click here so this radius is 15 meters so i go here go to geometry editor and from this pick sub entity editor i will pick sub entity i go to here and select this curve so currently the radius is 170 i will change it as 50 meters and press enter and press enter again to exit the command so you can see now my alignment is shifted so that this obstruction over the archaeological site is away from my alignment so now everything is okay but you can see here my 200 station is state as it is but my 270 station is now it is shifted earlier it was here but now my 270 station is shifted so as a result my all the curves in this area also have been changed so currently this is 260.601 but i have another drawing which was the original alignment so if you go here it was 235 now it has shifted to 260.601 and you can see this gradient is changed earlier this gradient was one point uh, 490.462 and this gradient was earlier 1.45 now it has changed to uh, my, uh, minus 1.208 so how to uh, it is good if we can maintain the earlier profile as it is and the earlier changes as it is after this this change because only the change happened in a small region like 200 to 270 after that all the alignment is same as the previous alignment but at this case our changes have our stations have been changed as a result of that our profile also have been changed so in this situation we get the help of station equations to maintain our uh, alignment as it is uh, so that it matches the earlier one so this is how to do it so i have to select this station and go to alignment properties from here then you have to go to station control tab 
and here you have to select station equations this button and then it will ask for a, it will give you a notification that you are going to change the alignment it is kind of a warning so you have to accept that one yes we have to change the alignment then you have to select this 270 point this is the 270 point earlier this arrow was at 270 earlier so i will click this point now if you haven't marked this point earlier you have to mark this point uh, when you are applying station equation so i click this point and it is showing that this station is 270.71 but earlier it was 270 so for the station ahead i will type this as 270 even though it is 270.71 i will tell civil 3d from this point onwards you have to uh, calculate the station you have to think that station as 270 it is again giving me a warning so i accept that warning now from this point onwards he will consider 270.71 as 270 so i click ok now you will see you have two uh, station marks here and this is for the earlier alignment this is for the uh, modified alignment this 274 modified alignment and this 274 the earlier alignment because of the station equations so now you can see after this point the uh, stations matches to the old stations so you can verify that I have, if i go to the original alignment and if i go to 200 and Eight station here I will create a circle here I will create a circle here at 280 station I'll click copy this one copy this one and we go to the other drawing and I right click and I will paste it into the original coordinates now you can see it paste onto the same coordinates and now it is 280 that means our alignment changes are or our alignment stations are same as the old changes after this point so i will delete this one now we have another problem that is the profile issue because the profile was changed from the point from this point onwards so what we have to do is we have to match the we have to mark these elevations on the profile so now you can see these elevations are changed this place also changed if you consider at the original alignment this was 235 but it was anyway changed but this point this is not changed this is 380 so first we have to change this elevation to 380 because this point has not changed so i click here go to geometry editor and go to pick sub editor and pick this point and this is 380 the elevation is same so i change that one then now what i am doing is checking this is anyway chain i am checking this one this is 110 164 532 i close this one and i will check with the original profile and it is also same so it is okay now what i do is i will delete this curve here delete this curve here then what i do is i will mark a pvi point at this station so i click here to mark a pvi and at 200 station i will mark a pvi point here and i go to 270 station now this station so the last station this is 270 this is from the original alignment so i click here and press escape so i have now two pvi points at this station and this station so i will delete the other pvi points click here i click here to delete them and right click to escape the command now I come to this PVI point using six sub entity editor and click here and this two at 200 elevation if this station supposed to be 
163.227 so i change this to 163.227 and right click uh, because i cannot change this one because we have we don't have a profile continuing here so what i do is i click this profile view and i close here i click this profile view and go to add profile view tables in station elevation from here and it is 270 so i pick the station as 270 and my elevation would be 163.294 so i mark that one press enter then i press keep and i select this point and shift it up to here right so now what i am doing is now you can see my gradient here is same as the earlier one and my elevation is same as the earlier one so now what i do is i click this profile go to geometry editor and from here i go free vertical curve with parabola and click this one i select this entity and go to here select this entity and select my curve length as let us say 50 meters and now if i right click you can see this gradient is 1.642 if you go to this station it is 163.294 now you can see my alignment and alignment stations and profile elevations are matched to the earlier alignment and profile so this is how to apply station equations to an alignment and match the profile to match with the earlier alignment when you are applying a station equation.